Katie Sanduina. Katie Brumbach was born in the back of a circus wagon to Philippe and Johanna Brumbach on May 6, 1884. Her parents were both performers in the Bavarian Circus. At the age of two, Katie was already performing with her parents and became a very talented wrestler. Philippe would offer 100 marks, the equivalent of $700 today, to anyone who could beat Katie at wrestling. She wrestled her entire life undefeated. In 1900, an acrobat named Max Hyman took Philippe's challenge. He later said that all he remembered was entering the ring, then seeing the blue sky. It was love at first sight. The couple married soon after and remained so for 52 years. Max became a part of Katie's act. She would lift him over her head with one arm and swing him around. While still newlyweds, Max and Katie took their act to New York, where, as a publicity stunt, Katie challenged any member of the public to a weightlifting showdown. A very famous strongman named Eugene Sandow took the challenge, and Katie was afraid that she might have made a mistake. Katie began by lifting a weight. Eugene would then lift the same weight. This went on tit for tat until Katie lifted 300 pounds over her head with one arm. Eugene could only get the weight to his chest. Shortly after, Katie changed her name and Max's to Sandwina, a play on Sando. Max and Katie had two sons. Katie continued performing until the day she gave birth, both pregnancies, and incorporated her children into her act as they were growing up. Katie's routine at Barnum and Bailey's included lifting horses and carousels. She also supported the weight of a bridge with her torso that men would march across double file before a carriage would be driven across. Katie died of cancer on January 21, 1952, at the age of 67. Please visit www.icantbelieveitsnonfiction.com and don't forget to subscribe.